everybody it's mindy it's a uh, tuesday for me recording day wednesday for you <laughs> taco tuesday here right uh yep hubby just headed out to go do his taco thing and i'm like okay i need to record real quick because um i have a hair appointment it's been a busy day though it has been a busy day today we have been all over the place so um working on this cute little uh, gingerbread kind of guy. The sun's going to come right in here. I hope it's not affecting you guys too much what you see. It's kind of right in my face, but that's okay. It feels good. It's the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. And we have not seen it in a long time. It's been days since we've really seen the sun. So I am not going to complain about that. Um, I just don't, I don't think it's, shining on the um painting or anything so i think i think we're okay i think we're okay you might see a little sun here yeah a little sun right here that's all right it's okay it is what it is i gotta record right now so you're gonna get some sunshine i could move i suppose but yeah i don't think it's gonna be too big a deal anyhow uh it's been a week right it has been a week me the girl who used to sit here and be like yeah, I don't do much. It's kind of boring. Don't have anything to talk about. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that has changed. I don't, I don't know why, but it's changed. I seem to be very busy lately. So, um, a lot of it has to do with health things. I know people get tired of hearing about health things, but you know, my knee, um, therapy twice a week. I had x-rays the other day. Um, Today I had, okay, here's what we did today. Got up early and headed over to the hospital so I could get um, my labs, my blood work done. I haven't had blood work done in, I don't know, several years. So when I went to the new doctor a while back, that was one of the things they wanted was, you know, some blood work done. I hate needles. I hate, 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 hate needles. I hate shots. I hate getting my blood drawn. So apparently I've put it off for several years. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I've had some other things going on and I'm like, let me just, let me get my blood work done, make sure everything is okay, you know, all that stuff. So we got up, you have to be fasting, of course. So we got up, headed over there. I got my blood drawn. Then we went and we got some breakfast and then I went to therapy and I'm like, yeah. And then rushing home, I'm going to record a video and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to leave and I'm going to go get my hair done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's your day today? <laughs> That's just today. That's just today. The other day was very similar to that. I went to therapy. It was kind of backwards. So reverse, reverse order, I should say. Went to therapy. I was going to call and make the appointment for the x-rays and they were like, oh, just, you just go over there. Just go over. There's a standing order. They're waiting for you. I mean, therapy's at the back of the hospital. You got to go to the front of the hospital to check in for x-rays or any of that other stuff. And so, yeah, it's, that's what I've been up to. That's what I've been up to. Like I said, it's all health things. Now, <laughs> okay. When I got to therapy today, I've had this issue. I know more issues, right? What happens? What what happened to this body? It's like I'm turning 62, 60, you know, and then everything's like going down the toilet. What is going on? So my head has been hurting, the back of my head. Like it's a headache all the time, but it's not like a headache. It's more like a, I don't know, just pain, you know? And I'm thinking worst case scenarios, you know, I'm got, what? I got a brain tumor? What's going on with me? <laughs> you know? And I'm laughing about it, but you know, with my family history, you know, people in my family get cancer, you know? And so, and I've had two friends that had loved ones that died of brain cancer. And so, you know, yeah, I'm kind of joking about it, but I'm like, why is my head hurting like this? So I go to therapy today and I'm like, okay, I got a question for you. What, what could cause this? So it's pain that's in the back of my head, goes up by my ear, and then it comes down my neck and kind of my shoulder. Oh, now we got too much sun. Woo, now we're in the sun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do I need to move? I can move. Should we move? I don't know. 
ah, enjoy the sun. Half the time people don't watch what I'm doing. They just listen anyhow. So there you go. It's going to come and go. It's cloudy. So um, I was like, what could be causing this? I said, is it to do with a sore here or there? And she's like, well, yeah. Uh -huh. She's like, it's all this muscle. It runs here and it goes here. And she's showing me the path that it takes. And I'm like, okay, all right. So I don't have a brain tumor. And she goes, stop it. She goes, no, you don't have a brain tumor. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't know that for sure, but you know, she's like, no. She says, this will happen to me. She says, I'll get this, you know, this pain that runs through blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Woo, there's the sun now. Ooh, I could turn off the overhead light. We don't need that right now, do we? <laughs> so anyhow, then she told me some things to do. You know, you just got to stretch this out. It's all tight. Da, 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 da. And um, she said, I'll put one of those things that you can put in the microwave, one of those things you heat up in the microwave. I said, oh, like those things with rice or whatever in them. And she goes, yeah, well, I don't use the one with the rice. She said, I have one that has cherry pits. And I'm like, what? Cherry pits? She goes, yeah, a friend makes them. They have cherry pits in them. They stay, they stay warm for a long time. And I'm like, um, okay, all right. So anyhow, put some heat on the back of my neck, my head, whatever. That should help. And I'm like, okay, all right. I'm just going to sit here and I'm like, what have I done to my body? What have I done to this body? Neglected it, apparently. And now it's yelling at me. It's just yelling at me like, listen, lady, listen, <laughs> right? You have to do some things. You have to take better care of this body. You have to move more. You have to do some more exercises. You have to do some more stretches. Be kind. Be kind to your body. Um, and and do more with it. So here's, and I don't know if, if you're familiar with this, but if you get an ache or a pain somewhere, what do you do to it? What do you do? You tend to not want to use it, right? Because it hurt. So that's the worst thing to do, of course, unless you really, really injured something. But that is what we tend to do. Something hurt, so let's not use it. And what does that do? Makes it worse. Hello. It makes it worse. So that's where I'm at. That's what I've done. Um, and I just need to get back into moving doing more things with weight, doing more things with strengthening, getting my body back into a better shape. Yeah. So that is my plan for 2023. Get this body back into better working order. You know, I'm tired of the aches and pains here and there and being afraid that I have a brain tumor. <laughs> so, you know, okay. So at the end of my therapy session, I just laid on the table. I had a heating pad. Well, they're not really heating pads. They have these big things they put in hot water and they get super hot. And then they, you know, bundle it up and whatnot. Soup, they get super warm though. So I laid there with one of those wrapped around my leg. And then another one I was laying on my head, you know, my neck, my head. Okay. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cozy. I'm just going to lay here and relax. And Dale keeps telling me, stop, relax, just relax. I'm like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm tensed or stressed about anything, but I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Anyhow, year of 2023, get this body back into better working order. You know, I'm only 62 years old. Come on. I have a lot of life to live. We got things to do, places to go, people to see. <laughs> I can't be feeling like this. I got to get better, get better, get, you know, moving, get things activated. Whew. Okay, enough about that. Enough about that. Ask me from time to time, how you doing? Are you exercising? Are you working them muscles? So there's certain muscles that need to relax because they're too tight. And there's certain muscles that need to strengthen because they're not strong enough. Hmm. Multi, multi, 
dual purpose, dual problem, right? Dual problem. And then you have to know, okay, which ones need to strengthen and which ones need to loosen. Okay, so I'm going to get my little massager out to help loosen the tight ones. And I'm going to try doing more exercises to strengthen the weaker ones. Sound like a plan? Okay, let's hope it works because I'm tired of my head hurting. That's the one that's bugging me the worst. I'm tired of my head hurting. I want to feel normal and good and, you know. Woo, there we go. Now we'll put some heat on it. There we go. <laughs> let's put some heat on the subject as we're talking about heat. <laughs> Anyhow, that's that. So uh, Dale had his birthday. He turned 63. Um, we were going to go out to this little comedy show that one of his friends from work organized. And I mean, we went, we had dinner, we got there and he was like, I don't want to go. And I'm like, why don't you want to go? He says, it is way too crowded. It is like chaos too, way, way too busy. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's up to you. You know, he's like, yeah, I just, no, there's too much going on here. Too many people, too crowded you know, drinking. And he said, no, not my scene. I don't want to go. I'm like, okay, that's fine. It was your idea, you know? And so I thought it would be, you know, something different, but that's fine. So we didn't go. We came home and watched TV and just hung out together, him and I. So, you know, we do that a lot, but we don't always hang out together. You know how that is. You got one person in one room doing their thing and the other person's in another room. Hello, get off there doing their thing and you're not really spending time together but we did that night on his birthday we just watched some tv together and you know sat on the couch together and you know so that was good then we had a little get together so <laughs> little get together that means you have to go shopping you have to buy things for food because you're gonna feed people and make food and i'm like we're back at christmas again right <laughs> We are back at Christmas again, where it was make a meal for this group of people and visit. And then another day, and then another day. Well, at least this was just one day. So <laughs> um, we decided that we would do tacos because, I mean, tacos is easy, you know. Cook up some meat, get all your little goodies to go with it, and it's, it feeds a lot of people, you know, easy. So we had to go shopping, of course, get all that stuff one day. And then uh, it was on Sunday, people came over. So it was the first time that his daughter and my daughter, my kids were um, together. Josh couldn't come. Josh was at work. And I guess I didn't really verify with him that that was a good day, but he had to work. Dale was like, that's fine. I understand. No, go to work. Go to work. Go make money. <laughs> you know? Um, we'll see him. I, we have some things for him and, um, we'll see him on his own, but, um, so all the kids, right? The three grandkids from, um, on Dale's side, his daughter's kids, and then Jackson, the new one on my side, they got to meet each other. That was interesting. That was fun. <laughs> um, kids are kids. You know how kids are. Hey, hi. You know, who are you? Who are you? Okay. All right. Let's go play. You know, and that's what they did. So, um, you know, that was good. Um, got a little crazy, a little wild and crazy. Um, some of those children just want to run all over the place. Their favorite thing to do at grandma and grandpa's house is to play on the stairs. Why? Why do we want to play on the stairs? It's either just up and down the stairs. Let's just go up and down the stairs a million times. Or let's slide down the stairs. Or let's get a ball and throw a ball down the stairs. And I'm just, I'm not having it. I'm like, no, knock it off. And I'm, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the big old meanie one, right? But seriously, go find something to do. Get a toy out. Sit down, watch a, watch a movie, just, you know, do something instead of just running around. Well, that continued. There was a little accident, a little breakage of things, <laughs> right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was, that was a total accident. It was, um, I mean, a door got slammed. 
and it knocked my diamond painting off the wall where it was hanging beside the door. So it fell onto a cabinet. We all heard a big crash. The children were all unsupervised in the basement at the moment. And we hear a big crash and you could tell it was glass. And we're like, ah. all of us adults, you know, we all go flying down the stairs. What happened? What happened? A lot of finger pointing. So-and-so did it, blah, blah, you know, whatever. So anyhow, a door, the door got shut too hard, knocked the painting off the wall, fell onto a cabinet and knocked over like one of those candles, you know, a little candle in a jar thing. Got knocked off the cabinet. That's what broke. Well, the picture frame broke too from the diamond painting, but diamond painting's fine, but the frame broke and a candle broke. So it wasn't, you know, the end of the world. It was a candle, really. Okay. But um, yeah, at that point, from that point on, it was like, nope, nobody's in the basement now. No, nope, we're done. Upstairs. And I'll tell you what, some of those little stinkers. I was like, go sit on the couch. I turned around and I'm like, here they are. They're trying to head down the stairs. I'm no, and no, we're not going downstairs again. No, we're done. We're not playing down there anymore. So we had our tacos and all that stuff. And then they just wanted to run around again and try to go. And Dale finally took them into the office. And I thought, the office, the office. Why are we going in the office? <laughs> in the office is where my diamond painting is. My table, my light pad, my drills, all that stuff. He's going to take the kids in there and they're going to play in the office. I was like, um, okay. So we have like this little um, play toy musical instrument thing, you know, has a little drum and some cymbals and maracas and, you know, stuff like that. That's what they were doing under grandpa's supervision. And I was like, okay, I'm going to trust him. You know, he's watching them. And he had the door closed and it's like they had to have permission to leave. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like somebody had to go to the bathroom, but you have come right back. So they came out, went to the bathroom, went back in there. I'm like, okay, all right. He's got some control of it. All right. I'm going to trust him. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Yeah. But man, it was just like, you love the kids. You love having them over, but then you're like, okay, it's time. It's time for you to go. It's time for everybody to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh goodness. So that was, uh, that was Sunday. That was, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a busy week, busy, busy week. Um, let's see what else, what else? Um, I'm finding all kinds of things I want to crochet. And I'm like, I, I could sit and crochet and crochet and crochet. Diamond painting is definitely taking um, a little hit. It is. Although, I mean, I've still done a few special drill projects. I haven't worked on the gnome in the office for a while now. I moved it on Saturday to do my live, and I haven't touched it since then. I know for sure, but. I did go downstairs one day and work on the Craftably Fairy down there. I think that one, I really want to focus on that one because it's the closest to being finished. It's in the basement, so it's a little harder for me to work on. But I worked on it the other day for quite a while, and it's so weird. It's like, okay, it's like this. It's like this. See how these are little strands pretty much? That's what that whole painting is like where I'm at because... I'm making hair. I'm making hair for the fairy, for the horse. And it's just, you get a little strand here of a color and a little strand here of a color. And they're just little strands everywhere. So you feel like you're not making really any progress. It seems like it takes forever. And it uses so many colors in each section because it's using, you know, a majority of the colors provided. I finally quit working on it the other day when I could not find a symbol. I mean, the symbol is right here. It's on my canvas. It's this little tiny little white arrow. And I'm like, okay, what color is that? Where are the drills for that? I'm checking the legend. I checked the legend like five times. I'm like, I don't see that symbol on my legend. And, you know, and then I checked the drills. I'm going through the drills. I did that a couple times. I don't think that one is there. I don't think it's there. Luckily, there's only about six or seven of that color drill that I can see on the canvas. I'm just going to grab another color that I think looks close and put it on there and move on because 
it's just a strand of hair. You know what I mean? What difference does it make? What color it is really as long as, you know, I'm not putting like, you know, black or something where all the other ones are blue. <laughs> just so I just, it's not there. It's really weird. So I'm just going to put something there and move on. I really want that one finished. It's getting so close to being done, but I know it's still hours and hours of work still. It's literally hours and hours of work still, but it's getting there slowly. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to give a little shout out to some members right now. Thank you so much, members, for being here. Um, thank you to everyone for being here, members or non-members, subscribers, or just people who have stumbled upon my channel. I get that every once in a while. Somebody will be like, I'm new here. Just found your channel. I really enjoy it. And I'm like, thank you so much. Subscribe. Come back. See more stuff. Hang out. It's a good place to be. We have fun here, right? So some member shout outs. Got my little book here. I'm going to talk about a few people. I'm going to say thank you to Sandra F um, for being a member and Sue Bell, Sue Bell, who I have met at the retreat last year. Thank you for being a member. Roxanne Bassett. Thank you, Roxanne. Becky G. Thank you. Um, West Aussie Diamond Paint. Thank you so much. April. Hi, April. Some of these people I've met. So on this list here, I've met Sue. April Bishop. I've met April. Hi, April. Berta. I've met Berta. Hi, Berta. Craft NATO. You know I know Craft NATO. Thank you, Angie. Kathleen Cross. I know Kathleen. She's one of the first people, one of the first people I knew through YouTube as a subscriber that I met in person. She was the first one. So thank you, Kathleen. Uh, Kathy. I go by Kathy. Okay. <laughs> and then Karen Scott. Karen Scott, she lives in Michigan, um, and I've met Karen a couple times. Karen has helped do some things for the retreat with us a couple times. So thank you, and hi, Karen. And then I'll, I'll get to the bottom of the list here, and I'll just say thank you to Sophia Diamond Paints. So I finished off that page. Yeah. So thank you to those members. I still got quite a few to go. And like I, um, I talked somewhere, was it my last video or my membership video? about maybe adding a tier for membership and doing something special, like once a month, do a special get together live or something, add a different tier so we can have one more level of benefits. I'm still thinking about it. Not quite certain what to do, um, but anybody have any ideas, you know, throw them out there, throw out your ideas. I'm, I'm willing to think about anything. You know what I mean? So it's time to make gingerbread. This is a nice gingerbread color here, number three. We're going to outline all the gingerbread stuff, the brown. It's time for some brown. Brown, brown, brown. All right. Um, smashing the specials. It's going well. Um, let's see. I put up the week four post on the 22nd. I think that's going to be the last one. I think we're just going to run it from the 22nd to the 31st because that's just two more days. Yeah, that makes sense. This will be the last week. All right. So post your projects that you have completed in the Facebook group underneath the post for the week. And um, Brandy pulls the last winner from week four. So that will be, like I said, that will run all the way through the end of the month. So she won't be able to pull a winner until sometime late next week. Okay, and I will be announcing the winner for week three in this video. Imagine that. In this video, I will announce the third winner. Well, I guess there's no drill on that pen. It must have fallen off in route somewhere. I'll probably find it laying someplace. Probably fell off. So, uh, yeah, we're having a good time. I'm not getting as much done as I wanted. I never get as much done as I want to, right? I always have these lofty goals. I'm going to accomplish this and this and this and this. And, but you know what? That's okay. That's all right. Because without goals, you know, you know, that, yeah, wow, 
see the sun now? If you are watching the video, I apologize for how much sun is here, but just in, just, wow, like you can't even see anything. There's so much sun. <laughs> Got a big old shadow right here in the middle. <laughs> What's making the big old shadow? Uh, oh, my camera. It's my camera that's making the shadow. Sun, go away for a minute. <laughs> Did I just say that? No, I'd really just say that. Oh, shall we move? Shall we move? Shall we move? Shall we move? Let's see. We can move. We can move. I'm still in the sun there, though. Ay, ay, ay. Um, hang on. We'll move. All right. We moved. And, of course, the second that I move, the sun kind of goes behind the cloud. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. We're not going to be here that much longer, so we'll just hang out here. Try not to hit my tripod here. All right. So where was I? Where was I? I don't remember. Uh, oh, lofty goals. That's where I was talking about. So, I mean, it's okay to have these pie-in-the-sky big goals. You know what I mean? Because, you know what they say, shoot for the shoot for the stars and you might reach the moon or something like that, right? So without having some lofty goals, I might not accomplish as much as I do, you know? I try to think I can get this, 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 and this done. And maybe I get this and this done. <laughs> Did that make sense? I hope you know what I mean, right? Um, so yeah. I still have a fair amount of projects that I finished. Uh, I'm happy with that. I always want to get more done, but I did I did a few and I mean I got a week, a good week yet, so I can get more things done. I think things should settle down a little bit other than the two therapies a week. Um hopefully I've got more time to just settle and do things. Got to start working on that project downstairs. Dale's only asked me like three times. So when are you going to start working on that? I'm like, when I get a minute. <laughs> when I get a minute, right? Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's life. That's life around here. So speaking of goals and getting things accomplished, coming up right around the corner is February and it is the month of Palantine with Miss Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter. And we are going to work on things that remind us of friends. It's all about your friends and friendship and your pals and, you know, all of that stuff. So think about a painting that reminds you of a friend. Um... Maybe it was given to you by a friend or you want to give to a friend something to do with friendship. Okay. It's the month of friendship. So think about something you can work on. I have my painting picked out. I know what I'm going to work on. It was given to me by a friend and it's a friend that I care about and I'm trying to um, support, you know. So, yeah. I'll talk about that when the time comes, but um, yeah, we're going to do things a little different. We're not going to do everything, say, on a whip and chat, or we're not going to do it all on Instagram. We're going to, we're going to change things up a little bit. And we got some different ideas about things that we want to do because we really, really want it to be about thinking about your friends and those people who are important to you. Sometimes we don't talk to people as often as we would like to. Our lives get busy, hectic, and we lose touch or we just, you know, we don't speak that often. We want you to think about that and make those connections and give somebody a call. And we're going to have a way that you can tell us about that. Um, and we'll talk about all that. Um, I'll do a video and whatnot explaining some of the things we're going to ask you to do. Of course, we're going to diamond paint a diamond painting and work on it together and make progress and support each other in that way. Doesn't have to be a new start, just something that's not, you know, like over halfway finished. We want you to actually 
spend the month working on something with us as we think about our friends, you know? So start thinking, grab something, think of, think of something that maybe you want to make for a friend or just make sure you think of your friend and uh, be ready. Be ready. Okay. No size requirements. It could be a smaller one. I'm doing a smaller one. By small, it's not a 30 by 40. It's bigger than that, but it's not, you know, 70 by something either. It's it's just a nice little size. And it's something I know I can manage to finish in the month of February and still have some time to work on the other things that I have not completed. Because I really, really, really want to complete some things and get them done. So I've been trying to work on smaller paintings for my last several events. No more no more big ones right now. I can't get the big ones done. <laughs> um, so yeah. I will try to do a designated video for that. Which is going to have to come up real quick. I just have to have some time to film that. And I was waiting a little bit with um, for Jenny. For a couple of last minute details about the event. Before I make a designated video. So. All right. Um, other than that, I think that just about covers everything. And I have a prize to give away. I believe I showed you what the prize was last week in my whipping chat. It's a pretty, pretty um, hanging, you know, like a, I love making those, the hangings. I just did, what did I just do? I did that birdhouse. I love things like that. So it's similar to that, except it's round and it's floral and things like that. I don't know if I kept the picture of it, but if I did keep the picture of it, I can put it in there again. But it's super pretty, super, super pretty. And then for week four, Brandy has something very similar from Crystal Canvas for her prize. Thank you so much to Crystal Canvas. Amy and Jen over there are wonderful. Um, and thank you for donating those. The grand prize will be coming from Crystal Canvas Art as well. And then you can purchase whatever you would like with a gift card from them. Um, thank you so much for them for donating those. And they are shipping them out. So we don't, we don't even have to touch them or anything. I just let them know who the winner is. Get them your address. And they do the rest. They are super sweet. I love both of them. Um, so. Yeah, look forward to um, seeing who the winner is here in just a second. Can you hear my ducks? They're right out here by the window. They're just out there making noise. Right? Noisy things. They're funny, though. They're fun to watch. <laughs> look, I have a half, a half a gingerbread girl. Yeah, she's a girl. Look, she's got like little braided kind of ponytails. Half a girl, and I got a little cookie to do over here too. Cute. And then the sun's back again, right? The sun is back. Okay, I'm done. We're giving up on this. No, no, not you. We're giving up on this video for the day. <laughs> I will uh, go pick a winner, and I'll get back with you. And I guess we're done because the sun's just like right in my face today. It's all right. I'm enjoying it. How about you? Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Oh, don't forget, I'll be back with the winner. Okay. <laughs> Here we are at my trusty computer. So I have my numbers in a number generator. So week three starts with 219 and it ended with 314. So I'm going to generate a number. So let's get a number first of all. Oh my goodness, really? 313 is our number. Okay, so next to the last person who posted this week. There you go. All right, let me go to Facebook. I have my thing here. Okay, hang on, it's right here. All right, I gotta scroll down. I see your names. Look quick, here they go. I gotta get under 313. 313 is Deb Camp. <laughs> Congratulations, Deb. You are the winner. Um, Deb, give me your address, please, so that I can get with Crystal Canvas 
arts and they can send you that beautiful hanging okay congratulations um one week left guys and you get a couple extra days this week so you'll have all the way through the 31st to post completed projects this week so let's go let's get them going come on crack them out man <laughs> get your entries in get your entries in okay all right i'll be talking to you soon deb all right thanks everybody have a great week talk to you soon bye you guys